keep away from me. Okay, I just want to kill you because you're really getting on my fucking nerves, if I'm being honest. Alright, do I really need to fight you right now? Like, right now, because I'm trying to deal with a Tin Man. Just go away. Oh god, and I still got hit with your stupid axe. Alright, well you're dead. And he, he fires off like a rocket, that guy. He's like a rocket. Alright. You're nice and quick to die. It seems that the ghost does a lot of damage to him, which is helpful. Can kill them pretty quickly in that way. I've lost a bit of health here because of this stupid tin man. Because of all the tin men. All the tin men in the world have resulted in my lack of health. But anyway, um, I can probably just turn into a bat and I'll be fine. Uh, Lion Man again? You know what? I'll fight Lion Man. And actually, no, I won't fight Lion Man. That's a bad idea. Turn into mist, please. Doom Link. Thank you. I'll just have to leave Lion Man alone there for a minute because he's just not worth it, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, I'll ignore him for now. Uh, yeah, you are going to die pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, I think we've yeah we've discovered everything back there. So we will move on comfortably into new dimensions. <laughs> New dimensions. I don't know about dimensions. That might be a bit extreme. Just new areas of the, of the bloody map, mate. Don't need to make it so, I don't know, poetic. <laughs> anyway, let's. Uh, oh, what's this? Stolrelite? 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 I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Strengthens power of cross. Okay, so that's good for that. I'll keep that in mind. That'll probably be ridiculously overpowered if I use that with the Holy Cross. So, yeah, but the Holy... I mean, that cross will be good as I continue to upgrade my hearts. And I don't know the maximum number of hearts in this game. I actually don't know. But I would say that it could become pretty damn overpowered later on. So maybe I'll try and remember that. I'll remember to use Stolrelite. Stolrelite, Stolrelite. Doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. Anyway, um, is that all that I came here for? Okay, it looks like we are done with this area, so I guess we'll move on. I'm not opposed to that. I think we've done well coming through here. Go and attack the lion men who will appear further up through here, or not. Maybe I'm misplaced. That's fine. So anyway, let us now go over to this upper area, which I thought was going to link up, but it ended up not linking up. Let's go head up here. Did I end up saying that this is the inverted castle equivalent of the long library? I think I did say that when I first came through here. If I didn't end up saying that, then that's something that I was meaning to say in the first place, but potentially didn't end up saying because I was in the middle of doing or saying something else. Doing or saying, doing or saying. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue up through here. Our bat is finding it a little squishy in there. Anyway, uh, so, oh Jesus, I just want to kill you before the Tin Man sees me, before the Tin Man sees me. Seems that I couldn't manage it, but that's fine, that room is full of assholes anyway. I don't want to see any of you ever again. I think this is going to be the last room and then that has created a, a link of sorts. Oh, is that... I don't know how I continued to do that. I don't even know what just happened there. How did I do it a second time? The only thing that I did was press down and do the attack. I don't even know how, I, how I'm doing that. I've got no clue. I'm very confused. Anyway, um, so we've just created a big interlinked map area here, so that's cool. We're more or less done here. We've just got one more direction to go after this. I'll head up to this top area. That'll get me out of here nice and quick. Get out of my life. I think actually the Holy Rod would be faster to kill the Lion guys. We'll try it out. No. Actually, it does a bit less damage, so we'll go with Alucard Sword. I haven't been using the Holy Rod very much, have I? I apologize for that if you are a fan of the Holy Rod. You're a Holy Rod fan, and you're... And you're <laughs> no, I'm not going to get into it anyway. I was going to go on about how you want to sign a petition for Doom Link to use the Holy Rod more often and all of that, and I was going to go on a big tangent about it, but anyway. 
yeah, I can. I manage to stop myself sometimes before I go off on big tangents like that unnecessarily. I kind of want to get that elevator moving, but I don't think there's a real reason for us to do that at the moment, so we'll probably not do that for, just for now. Um, yeah, we'll go down to this save point here. I'll keep it in the video because I couldn't be bothered cutting it out. Because, of course, I mean, it's not that I couldn't be bothered editing it. What I couldn't be bothered doing is staying silent and playing the game. Because, of course, the reason why I make Let's Plays is so I can sit here and gas bag while I play the game. And I just find that fun. So, yeah, I like to talk. Generally, you'll find that Let's Players are people who like to talk. That's why they do Let's Plays. But anyway, I mean, if you are a Let's Player and you don't like to talk, what are you doing? That is a good question to ask, if you are one of those people. Anyway, let us go and head to the second last direction over here. It's through this door. And then the last one is kind of near the save points, so yeah. And then we'll be able to go to somewhere else, I suppose. Okay, so this is a warp point. Maybe we're not going to do that just yet. In fact, not maybe, we won't. So... Let's go to that other direction. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's just a room on its own. Doesn't go off into anything else. I don't know if there are any warp rooms where you can go in different directions on either side of the room. I don't know. So, yeah, it's possible, I guess. But uh, I'm not too positive. <laughs> if it is possible. I'm not too positive if it... I'm not too positive whether or not it's possible. I don't even know if that's a grammatically correct sentence. Why do I keep on slowing down? What's going on with this? It's like when I jump and I'm near the ceiling, I slow down for some reason. I don't know what's going on there. Very confusing for me, but uh, whatever. Let's avoid that thing. This is a big room. I think I remember this room. I don't just think I do. I know I do, but still, this is kind of annoying. I don't like this room too much. Oh, look at this. I can turn into a superhero mummy. Dragon helm. Um, let's see how that works. It's probably going to be a lot better than what we've got right now. Well, not a lot better, but it's, it's kind of better. Uh, frightens enemy, lowers defense. Does that lower my defense, or lowers the defense of the enemy? I don't understand. I'll just keep with the holy glasses. I feel like the holy glasses might help me. I don't know if the holy glasses really have an effect beyond being able to get to the inverted castle, so I don't really know. I'm a bit worried that it's kind of useless. It's not entirely useless, though, because it's giving me defense, so yeah, it's not, like, super useless or anything, so yeah, that's a good thing. Because if it was entirely useless, that would, that would be kind of frustrating, but anyway. So these guys die pretty quickly with some holy water, fortunately. Mm, no, there's not another one. Jesus, this is a big room. I don't want to discover this whole thing. Why the hell would I want to discover this whole thing? This is so unfair to me. As if I want to discover this. It's, it's a lot of tough work. <laughs> it's a lot of tough work and I don't like it. Anyway. Flying, flying, flying. Flying, flying, flying. Flying, flying, flying. Uh, not too fun. I think you'll find. Not too fun. Anyway. Uh, yeah, sorry I'm not talking. It's, it's kind of boring, I agree. Uh, strength Potion. Luminous. We'll try out the Luminous, shall we? I have a feeling that this could be a pretty cool weapon. Have a look and see how it stacks up to what we've got right here. Uh, see if it attacks fast. No, not really. So therefore, get out of my life! And you also look exactly the same as every other weapon in the game. So yeah, you can fuck off, mate. Okay. So, um, let's continue discovering this room, which is not fun at all, I will mention. In case you didn't know, yeah, it's not fun having to do this. But it has to be done. So I can actually see what the hell's going on here. Otherwise, things get a little bit confusing, if you know what I mean. Because you're like, well, what have I discovered and what haven't I discovered? I've got no idea. And then you just have to kind of work it out. <laughs> if, you, if you haven't discovered everything, so... Yeah, obviously the ideal thing to do is discover everything, even though it's kind of annoying. But yeah, what, what do you do? You don't really have another option. Well, you do. Your other option is 
for things to be inconvenient for a while. It, it, yeah, look, I just want to discover everything, okay? It's not that big of a deal. Why do I have to justify myself? Leave me alone. Okay, so we're done, finally. That was fucking annoying, of course. Didn't You don't need to be a rocket scientist to know that that process is very tedious and boring to do. So, uh, oh, look at this. A karma coin. I will take that. Yes, I do know what it is called because I have collected quite a few in the past. Anyway, um, I think if we go here, that's going to take us to another room. No, it's not. Further down here. Uh, we'll go to the top one first. Why not? Why not? Why the hell not? Oh, look. Look. Hey, guys, remember this place? I don't. What's this place again? What's a Medusa head? Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, can be taken out of context, potentially. Um, all right, cool. Pointless little connection point there. Well, maybe not pointless, but yeah, a connection point into that other. How did that's just not fair? You don't do that in in video games. Uh oh, two of these guys. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me, aren't you? you you're fucking yanking my tits with a <laughs> with a chain. Like, literally, you, you... No, I'm not going to actually... I'm not going to explain that graphically. I don't know why we turn into a big dragon sometimes when we get petrified. Kind of weird. But there may be a reason why that's the case. Um, I'm almost tempted to turn into mist because of you. Just go away. Just go go away. Disappear. Disappear. Delete. Delete. Just... <laughs> terrible reference. Uh, please stop. I'm serious. Just stop this thing. Yeah, this is possibly the worst room I've ever been in, everyone. This is possibly the worst. It it really can't get too much worse if I think about it off the top of my head. Like, oh, did my ghost just kill that guy? Nice work. You did well. The good thing about petrification, though, is that when it does happen, it, it doesn't actually do damage to us, so that's a benefit. Otherwise, I would probably be dead by now. Even if it only did one damage, I would probably be dead because I've been petrified so many fucking times. You see, it's not that hard to kill those guys with the swords. It's just they do a lot of damage to you. And when you're surrounded by things that can petrify you on command, it's kind of difficult to actually kill them. So, yeah. Funny that. Oh, look, more. Hello, same formula. Let's do it again, guys. Oh, it pissed, it pissed them off in the last room. Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, that's how this game works. Stop it. Just stop it. Everyone needs to stop. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need to go to rehab after this. This is another example where... Oh, I'm only losing one health from those swords now. That's pretty good. I think there's a, there's a threshold point where, like, once you have enough defense, like... You need a certain amount of damage to actually get through enough to do more than one damage, which is interesting. So, yeah, we've got a lot of defense right now compared to when we last fought those guys with the floating swords. They're basically the same as the first Dawn of Sorrow um, boss, I think. They're very similar to them, at least. You know, I really don't like this room. I mean, I know it's it's just blowing your mind right now how I could dislike this room, but yeah, I, I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Just go away. Just stop it. Okay, well what's in here? Is this like a, a fun secret area? Do I get the the finish game button now? Do I get a buyable ending? What's going on here? I, yeah, I won't even bother buying Joseph's cloak. I'll just buy the ending to this game. Come on. Anyway, yeah, I think I'm getting close to having enough to buy Joseph's cloak. I mean, I've got 26,000. I'm pretty sure it's 30,000 to buy Joseph's cloak, so I'll get that just so I can look nice and fancy, Mr. Alucard Man and his fanciness, and also just to have a cool cloak in general. Uh, cloaked Knight, speaking of cloaks, yeah, you are going to be very quick to kill. <laughs> in fact, I mean, I couldn't even finish my sentence before killing him, so yeah, that's how quick he was to kill. Anyway, uh, oh, hello, you're back, or is, or are you a friend, or are you infinitely respawning, I don't know. Anyway, so we've been to this room before. This is the last time we... Oh, look, you infinitely respawn or something, mate. I don't know how much experience you're giving me, but anyway. Wait, have I been in the 8,000s this whole time, or have I come full circle? Because last time I checked my level, I had 8,000 next. Yeah, I must have gone full circle. There's no way. 
that I've stayed in the 8000s since then. That would be extremely insulting. Anyway, let us now go back to that other room where we could have exited out of this disgusting tower full of Medusa heads. Yeah, yes. You know what, guys? You're all dead to me. You're all dead to me. Just, just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I don't like it. You know, seriously, I'm starting to lose my mind. Whenever Medusas are thrown into the mix, I just, I lose it. I can't, I can't survive in life anymore when the Medusas become a part of things. This room is going to annihilate my ass. I'm just warning you. This is going to seriously not be cool. Okay, well that actually was pretty quick. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> nice and quick, nice and easy. No, no problemos there. Yeah, that was quick. It's all quick when you want it to be. Or well, maybe not when you want it to be. When you know how to deal with it, it's quick, but... Uh, yeah, anyway. So I think there's a save point nearby. Um, I guess I'll fully explore this area. I don't really want to, but I might as well. I'm actually watching my experience right now, and it's a bit shit. I'm not actually... Okay, I'm just watching that there. That is going to fall down and do a lot of things. That also serves as a platform, interesting to note. Uh, why did I just do that and respawn all the enemies? Why would I do that? Oh, jeez. Oh, one damage. <laughs> what will I do? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, okay. So... Is this... Oh, it is something we can break. Cool. I just... I don't know. I had a feeling that it could possibly be something that... Oh, this could be good. This could be a good replace for the whole, replacement for the Holy Rod. And it is. Um, I have a feeling that the Moon Rod... Oh. It's not quite as good. <laughs> in fact, it's nowhere near as good. The Holy Rod shits on it in every single way. Rod with lunar markings. That is better. Sorry, it's just better. Doesn't compare. Doesn't compare to the Holy Rod. I was thinking maybe the Moon Rod would be an upgraded version of the Holy Rod, but no, it's just, it's poo. It's like comparing them. Well, I can't even say a weapon that's similar to Alucard's sword because there are probably 50% of the weapons in this game look exactly the same as Alucard's sword. So yeah, not too much for me to say there. Now, I really... Okay, we have a bit more to discover for this room. More than a bit, actually. Quite a lot more to discover. I don't need to be too careful looking out for these bombs because they do one damage. Oh no! One damage. What will I do? Yes, well, it shouldn't be too terrible for me when I get hit by them, so... Yeah, I don't really have to be too careful when I'm fighting them, so that's always good to see. I'll stop that. I don't even know how I do that still. I've got no clue, and I'll probably never know. Because I'm not the kind of person to look online at things. I mean, I do do it if it's something that I just really need to know, but I can survive not knowing this, so I'll never look, basically. Unless I somehow accidentally come across the information. Oh dear. Uh, what's going on with this room? I f it said that we had already discovered it, yet we had never been here before. Makes sense, game. Anyway. Let's go and head back, shall we? Uh, yeah, you're gonna fall on me. I don't, actually, I wanted to turn into mist, but it didn't really happen, unfortunately. It didn't happen in time, at the very least. Um, let's get out of this room now. <laughs> yeah, kind of sick of it, to be honest. I'm just going to double check my experience again. We're getting, like, no experience at all as we're going through here. It's really quite sad, but whatever. I'm just gonna stop looking at it. Looking at it from now on. Makes sense, right? Because I won't be pissed off every single time I look at it. If I'm not looking at it. If you know what I mean. Let's continue now. Through here. Lots of things to discover. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's a direction that I didn't know how to get through last time. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry if you don't know what I was talking about. It's okay. I'm just speaking aloud. Yeah, of course I'm speaking aloud. I meant I'm thinking out loud. That's what I meant to say. Oh, it's a boss. Are you shitting me? I hope you're easy to kill. You do one damage to me, so that's a... That, that helps. Oh, that's not good. See how much damage the Holy Rod does to you. How much damage was that? What? What? Are you kidding me? 
What kind of boss was that? That's not even a boss. That's just poo. Ring of Vlad. Oh, so it's not... Maybe he swallowed the ring? I don't know. Uh, let's... Yeah, okay, so it is indeed a relic. Let's have a look. Ring of Vlad. Um, intelligence plus 10. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It does make sense that we would get something of Dracula's after killing a giant bat. I can imagine how that would make sense. Um, where do we want to go now? I think we've just discovered everything we wanted to there, so now... Yeah, we have literally discovered that whole side of the map, so I think what we'll do now is we will go and warp to a different location, but we'll probably do that after... Well, if I can possibly remember when I next record. I don't know if I will be able to remember. Probably not. It might be a while until I next record. But I'll save for now. Um, I've... Oh, wow. I've only been recording for 1 hour and 28 minutes. It feels a lot longer than that, to be honest. But, uh... Anyway. It'll probably be about three videos, if I'm honest. Because a lot of that time was me, like, going... Huh? With that... With that boss, so... And by that boss, you know, two bosses ago, the uh, Galamoth, that's what it's called. Um, yeah, okay, so next time what I'm going to do is I will go back to the... Um, well, if we have a look at the map right now, the warp point above us, the one immediately above that, we will follow that up, and then we will go back to the left to head back toward the left, or in this case, the western end of the castle. And you can see there are some areas pointing upwards that we haven't yet gone through yet. We're going to go through those areas because we haven't yet gone through them, so we're going to discover them. That's how that works. Okay, so anyway, um, I'll see you guys next time I decide to play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I hope you enjoyed my session. My session. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time I decide to play. That's the second time I've said that now, but who cares? It's the 28th of March 2016. I'm your host, Doomlink, and I will see you next time. Catch you later.